he was closeted homosexual the entire time, you know, and I know that pain. I watched it. I saw him live it. Well, I, I brought up the, like his, the, the sexual in the windows and yes. like how accurate was that to his real life? Was it, was it entertainment? <laughs> well, well, that was totally, totally entertainment. I mean, and they, they skirted around it in Dolomite is my name. But again, that's why I would like to do the sequel. Because again, with talking about the pain, because this is a different time today. Um, Rudy Ray Moore lived in the closet for many, many years because he was running around talking about, you know, pussy and dick and I'm my, you know, my, whatever his, his, his mm -hmm. records would be. And he was closeted homosexual the entire time, you know, and I know that pain. I watched it. I saw him live it as we traveled the country and he'd be on stage and the women are screaming and, ah! And, and, and he was not into women. And today, wow. to see the LGB, LGBTQ community uh -huh. as strong as it is and everybody holding their head up high, yeah. I watched this great artist have to live like Liberace and, and Rock Hudson and that life, you know? Um, and nobody wanted to say it. You so know? you said a pain in terms of where he just was like, what was the painful aspect to well, that? Well, the pain of having to live in the closet, having to live his life in the closet and not be able to be who he is. Because, you know, I mean, it wasn't until recently that, you know, I mean, <laughs> lesbian and gay people are still yeah. getting, you know, and especially in, in our own, yeah. in our culture. Yeah. It's and, very... I mean, did, was he fearful that he would like lose what he built, or what well, was the fear? Well, I mean, a lot of it. You know, you you could get attacked. You could everything. I mean, he was dolomite. You know, I mean, I was in Houston with um um, what was Moses Malone, the, it's the center, the basketball player back in there. We we played Houston, and we was backstage, and Moses was coming back, and all these women, and in and. and well, I'll just say there was there was many occasions on the road sure. that we had to try to do things to keep Rudy from being exposed, you know, like that. Yeah. You know? In terms of what the women would come backstage. Yeah, women come backstage to the to the hotel, all kinds of stuff. It was like. So how would y'all get rid of them? I would take them. Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But he would play. He would play into it. Yeah. No. No. He. We would use that he's an artist and keep him away. You can't. You know, Dolomite wow. doesn't associate. You know, it's. You know, it's like keep him in the suite away from right. all of that. Right. You know, the groupies and the, all right. of that. Yeah. So we didn't have to deal with it. And again, mm. that was part of. M the story that I know about him because to see, you know, and but he took it well. I mean, it was a sadness, but he was a happy man, you know, because we would talk stuff and laugh and, you know, because I, I knew because man, that was part of what helped bond us was right. the fact that I didn't hold his homosexuality. How did you find his, out? I mean, I. I grew up in the hood, you know. I mean, I could, okay. I got gaydar, as the kids say. You okay. know, like, you know, I mean, I, you know, it wasn't hard to tell, you know, it's, uh, that, you know, who's gay and who's not, right. you know. Right. So, but, but I did not hold it against him, you right. know. It was like it was not even part. I of guess the better our question is when did when was that acknowledgement of oh from the beginning? Okay. Because yeah, from the beginning, because Theodore Tony was around him. See, and, and okay, who's that? Theodore Tony is, and when you see the movie, uh, Titus, what's his, Titus, the guy he plays, the Theodore Tony. Well, Theodore Tony is constantly horned off. Theodore Tony was hitting on everybody 24-7, okay. you know, all the time. So when I came about, Tony was hitting on me constantly, and Rudy saw me, like, 
you know, dismiss him. You know, mm-hmm. and me, I didn't put him down because or get offended or want to fight because he was hitting on me and I wasn't gay. I just didn't deal with. You know, it's just like that's yeah. cool. That's your thing. You go on with it. You know, because yeah. I grew up in on South Side of Chicago. You know, I mean. Okay. I've seen gay guys my whole life. You know, mm-hmm. gay guys have been hitting on me since I was nine years old. You know, okay. it's, it's, it wasn't no big deal. And Rudy admired that. You know, the fact that I didn't, I didn't run or then jump into it. Right. I did. You know, it's right. like your thing is your thing, my thing is my thing. You know, so.